Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maths class, chapter number 18, Statistics. Statistics. What is a statistics? It is a branch of mathematics and it is concerned with how information is collected, organized, presented, summarized and then analyzed so that the conclusion may be drawn from the information. In other words, we can say that statistics is the report of a survey. We are going to learn this statistics as a chapter, but it is a branch of mathematics like how we know the other branches like arithmetic, algebra and geometry. It is a very much vast subject, but in this syllabus, we are going to learn only a part of statistics. Before we move on to the actual part of the statistics, it is necessary to know the meaning of few terms which you are going to come across in this chapter. This is completely an introduction part. Just go through it and read the same from your textbook and it is not necessary to copy it in your classworks. But you should know the meaning of each and every word over here. It is explained in this video. Concentrate on this. Variable. What is a variable? Variable is a quantity which can vary from one individual to another. It is called as a variable. For example, height, weight, age, etc. For example, if you collect the information of the students in your class of their height measurement, whether it will be same, it may or may not be same. Such quantity, the collected information, the quantity is called as a variable. Continuous variable. What is this continuous variable? In the variable itself, we have two parts. One is continuous. What do you mean by continuous variable? A variable which can take any numerical value within a certain range is called a continuous variable. For example, wages of person, rainfall records of different cities on different days and heights of children. The second type is known as discrete or discontinuous variable. Discontinuous variable means a variable which is incapable of taking all the numerical values is called a discrete variable. For example, it is number of children in a family, number of students in a class. What actually it is continuous and discontinuous? Children, continuous means you can give any numerical value. For example, height of a children. You can say it is 4.5 feet. How many students are there in the class? Can you say it is 35.5? No. That is why continuous means it can have any type of numerical value. That is value between the values. Between 4 and 5, we have 4.1 to 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, up to 4.9. Between 4 and 5, what are the values are there? Any value we can assign for the continuous variable. But for this continuous variable means where you cannot take all the type of numerical values. That is why we say that a variable which is incapable of taking all the numerical values. It should be a whole number. It should be a complete number. Uh, that means to say, you can say there are 35 students in a class. You cannot say that there are 38.2 students in a class. But when you come to the salary or when you come to the height, when you come to the weight of a student or when you just come back to the temperature, there you can have any type of numerical data. In the same way, the age of a student, it should be a, it, it can also be a continuous. We can say the age of the students are 5.5 years, but we cannot say that the number of employees in the factory, there are 105.6 employers. So that is a major difference between continuous and discontinuous. I hope you got this children. Continuous is where you can give any type of numerical data. Discontinuous or discrete mean where it is incapable of taking all the numerical values. Next it is a data. A set of collected numerical facts is called a set of data. This we do it in our regular process. 
in your class the teacher may ask you to just list out the rt marks of the students of any subject that is what the collection process what you are doing it is a data and in the uh, after at the end of the month your teacher will write down the attendance that is how many days the students were present and how many days the students were absent it is a data after your bi monthly the teachers will enter your marks in the gradation that is called as data and after once you come back from your holidays the teachers will collect you the, all the homeworks and the leader will just note down who who has submitted and who has not submitted it is a collection of data some more examples marks of students in an examination number of employees in a company etc the next topic is raw and array data as you told you children there are few certain words new words which we have to come across and we should know the meaning of that please concentrate properly raw or array data what is this raw data let me explain with an example consider the marks obtained by 10 students in an examination out of 100 you can just note down the marks over here the given in this slide the marks what is given it is of 10 students marks out of 100 the score marks scored by 10 students if i this is called as a data raw data that means how data is collected it is kept as it is it is called as raw data now your teacher will ask you to make let me know who is least let me know who is the toppest it is necessary to know that so if at if and law if at all if this information is either arranged in ascending or in descending order it is called as a group data you can note down here children in this slide we have arranged it it is called as it is called as what it is a group data if the above data is arranged in ascending or descending order it is called as array data if it is raw data means it is ungrouped where you have not done any grouping array data or it is called as group data where you are going to do it you have grouped the data you have rewritten in either in ascending order or in descending order that means to say if the collected data if it is represented or in, in any other format based on the condition such data is known as array data or it is also called as group data raw data means ungrouped collected and kept array data or it is group data means the the data collected is rearranged based on certain condition next one is the tabulation of data any data if it is represent in the, in the table form it is called as tabulation there are many certain cases which we are going to come across in our daily life let me take a small example that is the number of students boys and girls in the school first standard second standard and third standard so if this data is represented in the table form we call it as tabulation of data that is the given data is written in the form of rows and columns which is easy to access and note down the next topic it is frequency what is this frequency it is a number which tells how many times does a particular data appear in a given set of data how ma'am how it will appear how many times for example i have collected the marks of your examination is there any condition that two or three students should not score same marks no if we collect the height and weight of a students is there any condition that all the students and all of should be of same height and weight of course it is no so it might be same that is why whenever the data if it repeats on a particular data we count it as a frequency let us consider the example here i have given certain numbers you just note down just count how many times it is repeated one appears for three times and two appears for four times therefore we can say that frequency of one is three and frequency of two is four that means 
one is repeated for three times and two is repeated for four times. By this, we have completed few basic words and concepts in statistics. Let us continue the remaining part in the next class. Thank you children. Have a nice day.